deadly Russian missile attack in Ukraine and the grisly scene still unfolding in Dnipro. Ukraine says at least 29 people have died. Dozens more are missing after a Russian missile strike on an apartment building. Teams working throughout the night searching for survivors in the midst of all the destruction. ABC's Matt Gutman is back on the scene. Tonight, from that smoldering pile of broken concrete, rescuers pulling out a human miracle. Those Ukrainian rescuers gingerly cradling that woman. She's in the neck brace and hypothermic after more than 20 hours of exposure, but alive. In their arms, they carry her outside, down the pile, handing her off to medics. A moment that caught the breath of hundreds of bystanders there and watched by so many in Ukraine tonight after one of the deadliest Russian attacks on Ukrainian civilians since the start of the war. The death toll rising to at least 29, one day after a Russian missile obliterated the 72-unit apartment building in Dnipro. Officials say at least 40 people remain unaccounted for. The missile leaving a crater, shattering windows for blocks, spraying shrapnel hundreds of yards. Ukraine says it was a Russian KH-22 missile, 38 feet long, weighing over six tons, designed to take out aircraft carriers. Hours later, we were there. The smoke. It's so thick in the air, it's almost hard to breathe with it billowing. In the pile, an enforced hush. Rescuers hearing something. And today, we were back at the site where rescuers clung to broken concrete six floors up, hunting for signs of life. The explosion turning the complex's courtyard into an apocalyptic moonscape. Survivors screaming in terror. Hundreds of apartments damaged, including Yevgeny's. He was in his bed when his room imploded, his windows blasted inward. And the voices of people screaming, uh, screaming, screaming. And the, uh, the, maybe they call uh, children. And Walking out. I closed my eyes, I closed my ears. A massive relief effort springing up around the site. Blankets, hot food, both for the now homeless and for the exhausted rescuers. And everywhere, survivors and neighbors struggling with the loss. Neighbors like Tatiana couldn't hold back. And tonight we learned that this young woman, captured in that image, perched on a concrete ledge, clutching her phone, is recovering in a hospital, only to have learned both her parents died in the explosion. Just so devastating. Matt joins us now from the scene of that attack in Dnipro. And Matt, I know there's still a very active scene there, but uh, just give us the status of the search right now. Lindsay, we were watching rescuers just moments ago still on that pile, but the mayor tonight saying that hope is dimming of finding additional survivors. Now, that wave of Russian missile strikes not only killed civilians, but it badly damaged the nation's electrical infrastructure, increasing the rolling blackouts we've been seeing here for months now. Lindsay. Ukrainians contending with the dark and cold on top of everything else. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.